1. Hans Rosling Biography Hans Rosling, 27 July 1948 7 February 2017, was a Swedish medical doctor, academic, statistician, and public speaker. He was the professor of international health at Karolinska Institute and was the co-founder and chairman of the Gapminder Foundation, which developed the Trendalyzer software system. He held presentations around the world, including several TED Talks in which he promoted the use of data to explore development issues. Rosling was born in Uppsala, Sweden, on 27 July 1948. From 1967 to 1974 Rosling studied statistics and medicine at Uppsala University, and in 1972 he studied public health at St. John's Medical College, Bangalore, India. He became a licensed physician in 1976, and from 1979 to 1981 he served as district medical officer in Nikala in northern Mozambique. On 21 August 1981, Rosling began investigating an outbreak of Konzo, a paralytic disease in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. His investigations earned him a PhD at Uppsala University in 1986. Rosling presented the television documentary The Joy of Stats, which was broadcast in the United Kingdom by BBC4 in December 2010. He presented a documentary Don't Panic, The Truth About Population for the This World series using a Musion 3D projection display, which appeared on BBC2 in the UK in November 2013. In 2015, he presented the documentary Don't Panic, How to End Poverty in 15 Years, which was produced by Wingspan and aired on the BBC just ahead of the enunciation of the Sustainable Development Goals. Rosling was also a sword swallower, as demonstrated in the final moments of his second talk at the TED conference. In 2009 he was listed as one of 100 leading global thinkers by Foreign Policy magazine, and in 2011 as one of 100 most creative people in business by the Fast Company magazine. In 2011 he was elected member of the Swedish Academy of Engineering Sciences, and in 2012 as member of the Swedish Academy of Sciences. Two personal health and death. When he was 20, doctors told Rosling that there was something wrong with his liver, and as a consequence Rosling stopped drinking alcohol. In 1989, Rosling was diagnosed with hepatitis E. Over the years this progressed and Rosling developed liver cirrhosis. In the beginning of 2013 he was in early stages of liver failure. However, at the same time new hepatitis C drugs were released, and Rosling went to Japan to buy the drugs needed for curing the infection. He expressed concerns in media over the restricted use of the new drugs due to high costs, stating that it is a crime to not give every person with hepatitis E access to the drugs. A year after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, Rosling died on 7 February 2017 aged 68. 3. Work in healthcare and statistics. Rosling spent two decades studying outbreaks of Konzo in remote rural areas across Africa and supervised more than 10 PhD students. His work with Julie Cliff, Johannes Martensen, Perlundqvist, and Bo Sorbo found that outbreaks occur among hunger stricken rural populations in Africa, where a diet dominated by insufficiently processed cassava results in simultaneous malnutrition and high dietary cyanide intake. Rosling's research also focused on other links between economic development, agriculture, poverty, and health. He was a health advisor to WHO, UNICEF and several aid agencies. In 1993 he was one of the initiators of Medicine Sans Frontiers in Sweden. At Karolinska Institute he was head of the Division of International Health, ICER, from 2001 to 2007. As chairman of the Karolinska International Research and Training Committee, 1998-2004, he started health research collaborations with universities in Asia, Africa, the Middle East and Latin America. He started new courses on global health and co-authored a textbook on global health that promotes a fact-based worldview. Alongside Steven Pinker, Rosling has been criticized as being pleonized about the global situation in the face of tragedies such as the conflict in Syria. His work on population growth has been roundly criticized by Paul R. Ehrlich, 
the U.S. biologist and professor of population studies at Stanford University, and N. H. Ehrlich, associate director of the Center for Conservation Biology at Stanford University, as in their article A Confused Statistician published online by the MAHB. 4. Trendalyzer and Gapminder. Rosling's son Ola built the Trendalyzer software to animate data compiled by the UN and the World Bank that helped him explain the world with graphics. Rosling co-founded the Gapminder Foundation together with his son Ola and daughter-in-law Anna Rosling Ronan to develop Trendalyzer to convert international statistics into moving, interactive graphics. The provocative presentations that have resulted have made him famous and his lectures using Gapminder graphics to visualize world development have won awards. The interactive animations are freely available from the Foundation's website. In March 2007 Google acquired the Trendalyzer software with the intention to scale it up and make it freely available for public statistics. In 2008 Google made available a motion chart Google gadget and in 2009 the public data explorer 